safe and sound in COVID-19 times, but Prakash, there's no reason we can't help our viewers at home get better. And remember, you're playing the ad side since we're the doubles team, so you're playing the ad side, but we'll go through some good things today. We'll talk a little bit about the serve, don't you think? Absolutely. Now, you guys have been really vocal on Twitter. We've been taking some polls. What you guys want to learn about first? So in this first session, we're going to dig into the serve. Arguably, maybe the most important shot in the game. What do you think, Paul? I think so. You know, this, all, this is the one time where it's totally about you when you're the player. You're starting the point. You get to do what you want to do. It's on your terms. And, you know, one of the tricky things uh, that I want to talk about, the first thing of the do's, Prakash, is people make it too complicated. Keep it really simple. And in terms of being simple, the most important thing is that consistent ball toss. One of the folks who did this so well is Richard Krychek. Boy, did he have a simple motion and a great ball toss. And whether you're a club player or you're a pro player, if you get that toss in the right spot, the rest of the mechanics will fall into place. Well, Paul, that's a brilliant do. I'm gonna focus a little bit on the don'ts. I see a lot of players, especially at the club level, with a little too much movement in their feet. Easy to get caught for footfalls, you get thrown off balance. So I'm gonna go with keep it nice and simple with the feet. Where you are planted, maybe just a little bit of movement dragging up your back foot, but keep it simple with the feet. You know, I think you're right because the more movement, the more complex it gets. And I see a lot of people shuffling their feet around. And that segues right into the next do for me, which is using your legs. And using your legs doesn't mean you have to move your feet all over the place. People that move their feet all over the place tend to have that inconsistent ball toss. It's going everywhere. And Prakash, you know who did that better than almost everybody? My man Pete Sampras, back in the day. Big knee bend, used those quadriceps, consistent ball toss, got up and exploded into the court. I think actually, as growing up as a kid, I might have had that picture of Pete just in that deep knee bend poster up on the wall. Just a, just a beauty. Okay, I'm gonna play off of your legs and give everyone another don't. I see a lot of players just going straight up and down. You wanna really go into the court when you use your leg. A great example of this is Andy Roddick. He's of course known for his serve, but everyone thinks it's just because he's so powerful. But when he lands, he's a good two and a half, three feet into the court. So try to use that momentum. Don't go stationary up and down. So first of all, it's really confusing to have two guys with the exact same physique in the same segment. So we, we do need to do something about that. Same guy. To clear same up the, guy. The, the yeah, watch out for my water, That's Brett. fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, but, but more importantly, uh, Martina, we heard about a couple different things there. A ball toss using your legs. What's your linchpin for a, a consistent and effective serve? Well, two, two big points that uh, people don't think about. The way to practice the toss, it has to be high enough. Once it's too low, you are stuck. It, it, you know, you always can wait for the ball to come down, but if it's too low, then everything gets rushed. So get it high, practice it against the fence. So you, you, you reach your arm up against the fence and you get the right height, etc. But the biggest issue the, with the pros and, 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 and amateurs, when do you practice your serve? It's the most dynamic shot of the sport, the most important in the sport, but you always practice when you're tired. So intersperse it into your, if you have a two hour session, maybe do half an hour warm up, then hit like five, 10 minutes of serves, then do something else. And then again, five, 10 minutes of serves. So you do it like two or three times during your practice session so that you are fresh and ready to go. Don't wait till you get up, we're getting off the court to hit your 50 serves or whatever. That point Paul made, I think, is, is so obvious, but we tend to forget it. This is the one shot in tennis that you control. There, there are no variables apart from what you do with it. And at the highest level, it's always remarkable to me how foundational the serve is and how you can tell when a player is not clocking their serve, when they don't have self-belief in their second serve, that trickles down to their entire game, to their return game, to how they're playing the rally. It is such a foundational shot, and I think a lot of times we forget that, again, this is a shot that does not depend on anything but you. So, so Jim, taking the uber-tall guys out of the equation, because yep. they have an advantage, obviously, that, that almost everybody else doesn't, who's the best technical server you've ever seen? So, I mean, the obvious and easy answers are going to be Federer and Sampras, but I, I would say that you might even look at someone like Wayne Arthurs. You have to go way, way back Aussie. and dig in there. And Lefty? Aussie, Lefty. an incredible Lefty. serve. I'm always drawn to lefties anyway. I find them more elegant, but someone like Shapovalov's serve looks just really smooth and fun to me. But um, it's hard to go wrong with the pistol.
level, I would say. All right, uh, Pete. Let's uh, not forget Serena Williams in this conversation, best serve in the women's game and one of the best, period. Ever. Uh, here, here. That's a good point to yeah, end ever. on. Uh, and by the way, you can go to Tennis Channel's Twitter page and vote on which topic Paul and Prakash should cover next.